I'll leave a last note in here. I uh, This section 8 is called Coming to Peace, but um, uh, really the, the novel, I hope that you have a chance to look at this book um, at some point. You know, I, I, I get that it may very well not be <laughs> this year, and I hope that all of us will be freely running around outside, hugging whoever you wish to hug, and living uh, much less fearfully than we have been living, and much more much more in the open. Um, but I think that um, the the text proposes for me um, Tolstoy's problem uh, question that he wrote in a, in a famous essay, um, which sort of boils down to it can be asked in a couple of different ways. Um, what then must we do and how must we live? And I think this is the, uh, for me anyway, when I say I think, I'm really talking about, you know, what I've come to believe, that the situation, the job of people is to consider this issue of how we must live and then do it um and that's you know that's very sounds very simplistic but it's like yeah but at the same time sometimes the answers are relatively simple it doesn't mean they're easy i mean you spend the rest of your life doing that um figuring out what it is you feel is urgent sometimes when this course ends um people are quite distraught and upset and they they don't know and that makes perfect sense to me because they've been presented with this litany of grief and brutal terrible things and will be stumped as to how to proceed and i think that the the, the best solution is is the local one which is to regard look at consider your life and especially in the context of of covid um which is a good reminder to us all that we have no idea what's going to happen next and we really don't control most of it um and then decide what uh, essentially are the really valuable things to you and there really can only be a couple that you you, know, you you can't value 10 hundred thousand things um because what are you going to do about that <laughs> so to paraphrase stephen wright you know, a comedian who says uh, people say they want everything but where would they put it <laughs> you know so you know you you want to uh, solve all the problems it's like where are you going to start the really the, the way to do this is to focus on a thing that you that pleases you that makes you feel Oh yeah, this is something which I must do. Um, and there's, it should be relatively clear to you. Um, it just may not be clear immediately. I think especially in third and fourth year, you know, when I was 21 or 22, whatever age you are now, I had no idea what made sense to me for my life. Forget that. I was barely hanging on year to year. Um, at that point, I was just beginning an undergraduate degree. Uh, I was going at night to school, <clears throat> and uh, that was nearly killed me. I mean, I I just didn't have the uh, <clears throat> I didn't have the wherewithal for it. It it took everything I had to just do that. So I don't know what is going to make sense to you, but I know that if you give it a chance and you don't push, things will make sense to you, and then. You need to follow those things and be true to that, you know, honor that. And the difficulty may be that your family um, and your friends may not understand why you've chosen what it is you've chosen. Okay. Um, unfortunately, um, we may not be able to explain to people why it is we need to do what we do. And uh, that's the beginning of some of the hard work. Right? These are the, you know, but to live in another way, to, as they would say, to settle, um, I guess, 
so that you do what you've been told to do or that you please people um, rather than doing what you know you need to do is a mistake. Um, and that only holds up for a certain amount of time before basically it collapses. Um, or you take on behaviors which are bad news because you're, 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 you're doing the wrong thing. And so you say you become an addictive, well, you don't really become, one doesn't become an addictive personality. One is an addictive personality or not, as I understand it. But, you know, you might start drinking or you might start, I don't know what, you know, doing something which is damaging to you and the people around you and hurting people and all. Okay. So um, there are good reasons for following what Emerson and Thoreau in the 19th century would have called your genius. Your genius here doesn't mean that you have to be a genius. It means that this is the thing which is in you to do. And it may be one of many things um, which you are going to be potentially very good at. Okay.